Okay, we're gonna place replace belts today on a Mag Series Bill Acceptor, Coinco Bill Acceptor. And a Mag Series Bill Acceptor is one that has um, a center belt and then the four the four tires uh, on the lower assembly. Okay, <clears throat> so first thing I'm gonna do is take the bill box off. Um, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. Start by taking the uh, three screws on the bezel off. And the bezels are all different, but the number of screws is the same. <clears throat> Take the plate, the back plate off behind it. And there's a screw in the center that you have to remove as well. Flip the unit over, press the button on the bottom of the housing, pull the lower housing out. And then you're going to take off the side box. You're going to press each of these uh, plastic pins inward and then pop the box off. <clears throat> and I'm going to take the uh, intermediate frame out. Reach in with your flathead screwdriver and brace it and pull out. Pull the, pop them out, and then you can pull the whole thing off. Next, we're going to open the control box, and there are four latches two on each side, one here, one here. There's also one on the bottom. You got to pop that. Other side, two on this side whole thing comes off. Next pull out the control board. Be careful just to touch it on the sides and uh, unplug everything on it. And set it on a piece of plastic so that static doesn't damage it. <clears throat> okay. And I'm just going to use a razor blade to cut this. You can use whatever, a pocket knife or whatever. Cut the uh, twist tie holding these two harnesses together. Okay. Then you have the lower board separate. <coughs> Next thing you're going to do, flip it over, pull apart the two sides, and you notice there's a, there's a pin on each side, a plastic pin, you got to pull it out and press this down. <clears throat> and then grasp the whole thing and pull it out of the top. It will come out. And then just run your... Uh, Run your wires through the hole. Come all through there. Okay. <coughs> now when you're replacing the belts, it's going to be easiest just to replace them one at a time. Okay, so take the one on this side off first. So now we're going to put the new belt on this side. And put, I put it on like this first and then bend it around the black wheel. Okay. Then take the belt off on this side. Same deal. Make sure it's on the wheels and then bend it around the black wheel. Okay, so now we're going to change the belts on the lower assembly real fast. Flip it upside down, there's two screws, take them out. Screw on the sensor board, take that out.
For this, you can just bend back the sensor board. You don't have to take it all the way out. Take out the two screws. There's a spring that keeps tension on the axles down here. Okay, um, now take a flat edge screwdriver and put it in between the wheel and the housing and uh, pull, the, pull the axle out. Okay, and do the same, do the same on the back. Wheel came out first. All right, and now the, uh, the axle is stuck in this wheel here. So you're gonna have to take your flat edge screwdriver and push the axle through the wheel. And pop that up. And then take out, there's, there's gonna be two wheels in there, big one and then the guide wheel, and there's your old belt. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the old belts off. New one's on. All right, now I'm going to take a uh, an axle with the wheel on it, and then your center wheel and your center drive belt. And you're just going to hold the belt and the wheel in the back here and then run your axle through it. Either axle will work. They both have the uh, uh, the roll on the center. And then press the axle through until the cut area disappears into the middle wheel. Then you know you're far enough in. Then put the wheel on the other side Make sure that they're centered and that, and that the axle moves. Then take the little guide wheel and put it in the belt. You have to stretch the belt out. Oops. Make sure it turns. Then take the spring, set it back in there, make sure that uh, it's sitting on top of the axle, the rear axle in the back there. Put the two screws back on it. sensor board back on. On the bottom plate. Then you can flip it over, make sure that the wheels turn. Then you're going to want to put in the next, the last axle, and you're going to see the spring that you put in there. <coughs> you're going to see it about in the middle of the hole. You're going to want to put the axle in on top of it, and make sure it comes out on top of it on this other side. And then put the wheel on on this side. Okay. Now we're going to put the unit back together. Take your uh, stacker assembly first. Run the wires back through the uh, the hole in the housing.
Okay, and slide this in to the bottom first and pop it back into its into the holes, pull the grounding wire through, and then pull, feed that back up so that there's not a bunch of slack in there. Then push it all the way up, and you'll see two holes up there you gotta pop, pop that back into, and then pop it into place. Put the intermediate frame assembly back on. Put the lower board assembly in. And plug the harnesses back into the board. I'm going to take a twist tie and tie these two harnesses together so that when it's down in the hole you can't pull the harness out, it'll stop the twist tie. And any harnesses going in should have a twist tie on them. And you're going to put on your cover and there's the hole for the switches and uh, that hole is going to go over these white switches on the board. On the bottom, slide it onto the side. Put the bill box on. Put your bezel back on. Grounding wire. Here. <laughs> the grounding spring on. Bezel on. Now test the validator. Okay, now it's a possibility that you, you can put part of this validator together incorrectly when you're reassembling it. And here's a problem that can come. I'm going to put it in the bill upside down. These validators, Quenco, Max, and BAs, don't take the bill upside down. But it, I'm going to put it in upside down because it's going to do the same thing with an upside down bill that it would if you put part of the unit together incorrectly. And here's what happens. It's taking in about half an inch and spitting it back out. And in that case, here's what you need to do to fix that problem. Okay, so here's a problem that uh, can or a mistake that can be made when you are putting the validator back together. This silver spring here. Notice I, uh, I created the problem on purpose to show you um, what it looks like. The spring is under the axles. The axles are sitting on top of the spring looking at it from the bottom. The axles should be underneath the spring so that they can, so that they can bounce here. So they're not, they're not underneath and that will make the bill go in just a little bit and then we spit back out a little bit, spit back out. Okay, so the easiest way to fix it, um, some, I mean you could get one axle above it and one axle below it. I, I showed you with both axles below it, here's the easiest way to fix the problem. 
when both axles are are or when the when the spring is below both axles. Okay, so I'm just you're going to take off take off the front set of wheels, and then take the two screws out of the spring. Pull the spring out. And put the wheel back in and put the axle back in. And then set the spring back in on top of the axles. Make sure it's on top of both of them. Put the screws back in. Sensor board back on. Don't forget your hose that holds the transformer in place. <coughs> if you are using a transformer, some units don't have a transformer. 24 volt unit won't have a transformer, so you don't have to worry about it in that case. Okay, so we're through. I'm going to put the wheel back on. And that spring is going to hold the wheels up above the level of the housing just a little bit, as you can see. If the spring is, um, if the spring was uh, below the axles, and if the spring is on, if the, if the axles are been uh, on top of this or underneath the spring, then they should sit there and they should bounce, and they shouldn't go all the way down. Okay, if the spring is in the wrong place, then the axle is going to sit all the way down on the on the housing like that, and you'll know just from seeing that that they're in the wrong place. Okay, so if you turn it back on and it takes the bill in like half an inch and spits it back out, you know that the spring is probably um, on the wrong side of one of the axles. So just take the lower assembly apart and check, and then that should that should take care of that problem.